Go. Hi, I'm Peter Cowley. I am an entrepreneur, an angel investor, and now a cancer patient. I've, I'm 67 years old. I live in Cambridge in the United Kingdom. I've brought up three children now in their 30s. I've, inve- I've founded a dozen businesses, invested in 75 startups, and written a couple of books. I've been on the boards of a dozen not-for-profit organizations, taught and lectured in 39 countries, traveled to over 80 countries, I run, I ski, I hike, I play real tennis and run half marathons and I've enjoyed life as you can tell and I hope I've also um, contributed to others' lives. Wow Peter, that's amazing. Why have you decided to start this series of vlogs? I, my audience, I hope, is going to be people who already are suffering from cancer, people who know people who are suffering from cancer, either as carers or partners or friends, and hopefully also people who are, have not yet met cancer but would like to know more because inevitably at some point in our lives we will know somebody, a relative or friend, who has got cancer. Mm. So when did you find out you had cancer and what type of cancer is it? Just before Christmas last year in 2021, I uh, was diagnosed with cancer, lung cancer. Uh, I've I've never smoked, um, never been a smoker, and about 50% of us who've got lung cancer have never smoked. Luckily, if luck can be the right uh, word, um, I uh, suffer from NSCLC, which is non-small cell lung cancer. When it was discovered, it already metastasized around my body and they found it, in fact, because of a balance problem. So I had it in my brain, my bones, my lymph system, my liver, and of course, in the lung itself. So uh, did you, were you given any therapy straight away? No, the therapy didn't arrive immediately, but I, soon afterwards, I, um, they found by diagnosing that I, I had a specific mutation, again, another piece of luck, where a, a Targeted therapy had been designed by one of the pharmaceutical companies some years beforehand. I take that once a day, I take a tablet, and at the moment it's working very well. Hmm. So does that mean that your cancer is currently retreating? At the moment, thank goodness, and I've had three scans now since I started taking the drug, it's about nine months on, the tumours are all shrinking. They haven't disappeared yet, but they're all shrinking pretty fast, which is good news. Do you have any side effects? Uh, again, the side effects from any form of therapy like this, it's not chemotherapy, it's a targeted therapy. Uh, there are a sort of long list of all side effects and luckily I suffer from very few of them, just muscle stiffness primarily. So does that mean this therapy is just going to go on forever and everything will be fine? Wouldn't that be lovely? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's quite like cancer's a pretty awful thing and once it's in there, it really does like to try and kill the host, i.e. me, the patient. And it's very likely, and this is um, from research they've done and, and the fact that over 500,000 people have used this drug, that my cancer will mutate and I will end up on another form of therapy and that therapy is going to reduce my quality of living, unfortunately. So, mm, I ex- so everyone around you is rooting for you like mad, I yes, guess. Yes, I mean... What are uh, you hoping for yourself? So as you, I'm sure we're all aware, the medical technology moves on rapidly. In fact, all statistics about prognosis are all out of date. So I, my loved ones, my friends are all hoping that I will get to at least 70 years old. Mm. So what are you planning to talk to us about in your vlogs? Yeah, first of all, I just want to say that I'm not going to derive any income from this project. This will definitely be altruistic as far as I'm concerned to help other people. So what am I going to talk about in these these vlogs? I'm going to talk about the various things I've learnt over a period of time over the last nine or ten months which have helped me. Things like prioritisation and planning, things like bucket lists, um, circles of support, um, exercise, diet, um, all the various things that I've learnt and, and produced systems for really just to help me get through this process. Part of it, of course, will be how I relate, to how, how I've done research, what data I've found, how I've related to the um, health service. I'm regarding this as a project where I am putting my part of what I can do into it and the NHS, the health service, uh, have put their side in, which has been excellent. Me. Mm. So it sounds like you're going to do not just vlogs, but also written material and podcasts. 
the idea is that I'm starting with these 10 or so vlogs about my history and then I'm going to move on to interviewing people, my oncologists, etc., other cancer sufferers perhaps, other charities and various other professionals and other pe interested people, including the pharmaceutical companies. So I'm going to do that over time and I'm also going to put written material on there and blogs. Mm. So lots to look forward to there. So you have lots of ideas. Are you open to other people's ideas about what, what they might want to hear about? Yes, this project's been difficult to design because although I know what the content should be, I don't know who the audience are. And so I want, I need, I need, actually need you, the, the, the viewer or the listener, to come up with ideas about what I should be doing, who sh what, what you'd like to see. So if you could please comment on the uh, YouTube um, comment boxes below or whatever method, uh, approach me by email, then we will tweak and change the vlogs later on to fit in with what you want to hear and see. Mm. There are obviously many, many cancer resources available already. How do you feel that your perspective uh, can add and be of value to people? Yes, I mean, as you, if you've watched this so far, you'll realise that I'm taking this remarkably well. Now, it helps that my treatment at the moment is going very well, but I, I've taken a very pragmatic approach, a realistic approach to this cancer. And so I'm, what I'm wanting to do in this vlog series, etc., is to show with research and data and, and working how to uh, use the system in a positive way that I will be demonstrating to others who hopefully will help them that this sort of approach will lead to better outcomes. Well, we're certainly looking forward to hearing more. Yeah, thank you very much then.